Hey everyone, so today what we're going to be doing is I need to repair my belt. Um, this is a good belt actually, it, you know, it's one of my, it's one of my only, I think I have maybe two or three belts, and this one here is maybe 10 to 15 years old. Um, it's a good, you know, solid leather belt, uh, you know, I don't have any problems with it, nothing else is coming apart, but the stitching uh, is pretty interesting, the way the stitching, it just almost you know deteriorated just went away um, I was able to pull it all out by hand and so I thought that this would be a good demonstration on how to use a um, a hand sewing all here um, this is one of the ones that I use to repair my backpacks when I'm backpacking or um, any of my big heavy stitchings and, and things that I need to do um, the way that it works is you've got your spool of thread back here right and so here's your spool this one here's a I don't know if you can see it. It's a wax cotton, um, very durable, uh, you know, abrasion resistant. Uh, I don't know, whatever you're looking for in thread. It does a really good job. I've never had a problem with it. And so it, it goes through the handle right here. And then to put tension on it so that, you know, you can control the amount of thread that comes out, you can loop it around this little pin right here. Then, it goes up through here and then it follows right up and goes up here and then through the eye of that needle. I had a demonstration on how to thread an eye of the needle and uh, it ended up being like 10 minutes long so I saved you guys the trouble of having to watch all that. Um, this one here is pretty pretty neat. Uh, this is actually a Stuart, I think Stuart Manufacturing, yeah, Stuart you know made in the USA um, I take it on you know different backpacking trips throughout the year uh, it's got a curved needle and then it's got the straight needle here that you know everything stores all right here in the front so we're just gonna take this and we're gonna tighten this down and the way that this works is like I said before you are just mimicking the action of the um, of the machine and so you're going to go through and then you're going to loop it on the back and you got to make sure, I don't know if you guys see that, you got to make sure it goes on that groove. Otherwise it won't pull through. There we go. See, you can check it to see if it pulls. All right, so the way that this works is... You usually start off with about twice the amount of, of thread here of what you're going to be stitching. So if I were to double that up, you know, it's about what you use. Um, I've got a little bit extra here just from, you know, messing around with it. Uh, normally I'd be poking a fresh hole, but this is a restitch. So all that you do is you just line the two holes up, right, and you push it through. And then on this first one, you pull all this thread out, right? So then trying to keep everything tight, I'm going to come over here, go to the next hole and try not to stab this through my, through my hand, right? So there it is all nice and tight. Pull it back just a little bit. We're going to take this here, run it through and then you pull back and that's what that tensioner is here because that allows you to pull it tight all right and then you just step on over to the next hole and repeat the process all right pretty simple um, you can do this like I said with with new holes old ones um, you see it puts together a pretty decent stitch and it's that wax nylon so that wax nylon does a really good job of um, you know resisting abrasion I think it'll probably do a lot better than the cotton thread that was probably in here in the first place and once you get the rhythm of it down you can actually move pretty quickly All right you just keep pulling it tight make sure you pull it tight
right, we'll get to this last one. So on this one here, you can actually, here, I'll pull some extra thread out. So on this last one here, you pull that through, because what we're going to do here is we're going to need to tie this off, because that's, that's the end of the line. All right. I think actually what I'm going to do here, you can see where they did it the last time is they ran it around the edge right here and they, they tied a knot. I think I'm just going to tie this one down here on this one. Right? Just... You can get fancy on your knots if you like, but on something like this, it's where all it is doing is holding together. I'm just going to tie that basic knot. Alright, so there you have it on that one. Alright. So... You can flatten that down if you want. I'm going to do the other sides here. You know, I got these here. Uh, there's a couple loops up here that I'll do. And then, uh, you know, that, that'll be finished. So thanks for watching. All right, so here it is, all finished. Um, good as new, in my opinion. You know, who really cares what a belt looks like? Uh, although I don't think the stitching looks too bad. You see I stitched the this back together here, this little belt loop, holding everything in place. Um, Alright, so I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the in the comments. If you have any better way of doing this, I you know, I'm always open for different options, uh, different knots, different different anything. So Alright, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it.